All right, we are back in the kitchen. I got the redfish laid out here on the plate and I uh, just wanted to show you guys something real quick, real cool. These are some decals that I am selling. Uh, this happens to be the low country fishing, uh, just basic generic white decal. This is a six inch decal. I sell this on the Facebook group that I have started. So that Facebook group link will be in the uh, description below. So if you're interested in getting some of these, I have a limited number of these six inch decals left. And I also just got in a few of these. This is a four inch round vinyl decal. These are basically outdoor rated decals. Um, I have a few of these. This is a nice, pretty South Carolina logo. And for my Georgia anglers fishing in and around the South Car or the uh, Low Country area, I have this one with the uh, beautiful Georgia flag in the background. So if you guys want these, uh, these are four bucks here. And sorry, this guy here is five dollars because he's bigger and a little more expensive to make. But if you want these, come on over to the Facebook group and check it out. Or I will leave my email. Uh, in a description of this video below and you can reach out to me through the email address and uh, We can get these set up for you guys, but I take PayPal and Venmo for them So on to the redfish. So this is the redfish on the half shell. I've left the skin and the scales on uh, The fish is nice and clean. There's no bones. It's ready to go step one on these redfish fillets you have a very thick side and then you have a little thinner side what I like to do is just take a sharp knife and kind of make scores into the thick side. And what that's going to do is allow this fish to cook evenly. So I just make some nice slices like that on the thick end. Because what you're, if you don't do this, what's gonna happen is the fish is gonna cook unevenly and you're gonna have very dry, well done pieces on the thin side. And on the thick side over here, it's still gonna be maybe a little raw or this will be just how you want it, but this will be underdone or vice versa. So go ahead and make some nice little uh, scores in the meat like that. And here's the seasons I use. Very simple. Everglades fish and chicken. You can pick this up um, at a Publix. It's usually on the bottom shelf. It's a very limited, limited product in the um, low country, Georgia, South Carolina area. You can also go and pick this stuff up at evergladesseasoning.com. It's a really good all around uh, seasonal. So step one just lightly season the fish. You don't have to go heavy with it. This is good enough, just like that. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to put some fresh herbs on it. This is Gourmet Garden. These little bowls here aren't the cheapest thing in the world. If you have your own fresh herbs, by all means go for it. But these are simple, convenient. They also sell them at Publix. They're about five bucks a piece. And you can get a few uh, dishes out of them. Um, they're not terribly expensive, but they're not cheap either. If you can grow your own, I would say grow that route. But I like to just put some very simple flavors, uh, profiles on this. So I'll just come on top here with some ginger. And do this to both fillets. And this is how I like to do my redfish on the half shell if I'm not blacking it. I do like to blacken a lot of fish uh, just to add a nice uh, peppery, robust flavor to it. But this is just a very simple way of doing it here. So that is the ginger coming on top here with a cilantro. Um, they also make a basil and a parsley just like this. Um, so you can mix it up and put whatever fresh herbs you want on it. They just happen to be the ones that I like. So I get it nice and seasoned up just like this. A little herbs never hurt anyone. Bang. Okay, we'll set that out of the way. Now, uh, you need some sort of a fat on this dish. Um, this is ghee. Only thing ghee is, it's clarified butter. When you go to the fancy steak restaurants, you're gonna get this kind of stuff here. Um, it, it allows you to cook it at higher temperatures. Me personally, I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to use this stuff um, or it will make me sick. So just get you some like this, and here's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna kinda put some pads, or pats, whatever you would call it, of butter on, just like that, and as that cooks, this butter is just really gonna melt in and uh, make a really, really nice buttery dish and really bring out some good uh, flavor on this fish like this. So use as little or as much as you want. Uh, I'm going to use just about this much. I don't like to go too crazy with it because it, it will get a little bit oily. The redfish uh, isn't as lean as some of the other uh, fishes out there. They already have a nice little flavor, so you don't have to go too, too crazy. But I do like the taste of butter. 
and that's it. This is exactly what it looks like. Now, all we're gonna do is just uh, go outside, bring the grill um, up to temperature. I like to cook over a, a, somewhere about a medium uh, heat, and we're gonna sit, cook this thing skin side down with some tin foil and just keep the lid closed and let that butter melt in. Let this fish cook and it shouldn't take anything more than maybe uh, eight to 10 minutes or so, but we'll check on it as it goes. But here's another really cool tip. When you make those little slices into the fish, as the butter melts and it grabs the season, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of drip down and work its way into the fish and just really bring out that uh, fish profile or that uh, flavor that you want in the fish. So, all right, let's head to the grill. Go ahead, brother, dig in, tell me what you think. I'm gonna get a piece with all this seasoning on here. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah, no good. Very Super good. good. Oh yeah. That's a perfect, uh, perfect medium, medium to medium well cook on it. It's still nice and juicy. It's tender. These GoPros don't give us any justice, but. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's good. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoy uh, seeing some clean cook episodes like this, you guys just let me know. Drop a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I'm Dan from Savannah, and this is Delicious Redfish. Take care, you guys. God bless.